there, mortals! I am Jensen, and welcome to Among the Sleep. This was recommended to me, uh, maybe almost a year ago by user Hexye, and everybody since then has been telling me that it's just absolutely worth playing. I'm not gonna screw around too much, I'm just gonna fire into it. Ah, tutorial! Tutorial in a picture, that is perfect. Are you gonna play the full release or the version that was originally Half-Life mod? This is the full release, and it's called, like, the Deluxe Edition or something like that. What the hell am I looking at? Is that a butthole? That does kind of look like a sphincter, doesn't it? The thing in the middle of the screen? The butthole looking thing? What the hell is going on? Hey, sweetie. Did you finish hey. your drink already? Oh, it's a glass. Okay. Uh, careful. It uh. might break. Yeah, I know, right? I'm, we have to change the sensitivity before it just smashes the game. Okay, how's this? Oh, that's so now much better. Will only be a minute. Mommy just has to make sure that the cake is perfect. Really? Good on her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a mess. We're making a mess. Let's start doing our taxes. Mommy, you ready? I'm doing taxes. Let's see. There and there. Shut up, lady! I'm doing taxes! Don't distract me! Okay, and the expenditure oh, on uh January, you. February, March. You're so adorable in your tiny footed pajamas. It's because I've got tiny feet, lady. We're a baby, by the way. If it's not obvious. Happy birthday, sweetie. Where to? Yes, uh... Wow, two years today. <laughs> what do you mean, wow? I think I know a little someone who's ready for some cake. Uh, after taxes. Chugga, February, chugga, March, chugga, chugga, April, choo -choo. and May. We had a, a big expenditure down in May. What the hell are you feeding me, lady? And here it comes, through the tunnel. Choo-choo. <gasps> Why does it taste like uh, chloroform? You trying to put me to sleep? Uh, I'll be... Mm, Right back. Oh, I told you, you shouldn't have distracted me from the taxes. Okay, let's finish taxes. And maybe this, can we blow out the candles? Wait, where is dad? Is this supposed to be dad? Maybe we've got divorced parents and we're having a nightmare. I did read the Steam description. Actually, we did claim taxes back on that day as well. So let's just uh, change the abacus. I did read the screen Steam description, and the description of the game was that we are a child. <gasps> Look what I found. And the game is representative of a child's I'm imagination kidding. as Why well as and find out? dreams. So I think Dad actually just came and dropped off a gift. Oh my! <laughs> How much cake did you have? Only what you fed me, lady. <laughs> this is such a weird perspective. Oh, I can see up her nose. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to smash the milf. I'm trying. To, I think that's what I'm doing, right? I'm trying to smash the milf. This is cool as hell. That's not. That is a dark, looming shadow. What is this? A sleep token music video? And it feels like a sleep token music video. All right, what's that gonna say? Presents! Yes, we did actually just receive one of those. I don't think we can open it yet, though. Among the sleep! I can I wait. I literally can I wait. I'm really excited for this. I didn't realize the quality of this game would be so high. Why is that room barricaded, Mother? Here we are. Hmm. Why are you holding well, me by my neck? <laughs> Maybe okay, what is it? Or maybe it's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Thermite? C2 maybe? Breaching charge? It's nightmare fuel, mother. Be a deer and play for a bit. Mommy will be right back. Okay, sure. Where are you putting me? Where are you, where are you putting me? Don't put me in the cot. Don't put me in the jail! That weird blank ass steer she just gave me. Hold the left mouse button to pick up objects. Oh, I thought we were actually being put in the crib. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little dog gate that we can't really pass through. We could probably get through this tunnel here. Mother absolutely just crapped the bed, I think. Uh, we've got blocks. Now, we can rotate too, can't we? Yes, we can. Can we write a curse? A cuss word, perhaps? Is there a U? We could probably maybe make a cuss. There is a U. Okay, let's uh, take this U and stick it right here. Oh, I also see the C right over here as, as well. Let's, let's take the C and we'll try and rotate it a little bit so that we can uh, 
get that nice cuss word. And I also see the K right here as well. Excellent. Mother is going to love this. Oh, this is her favorite word as well. She says it all the time. Uh, kind of hard to orient, actually. This is the jankest tutorial I've done in a long time. All right, here we go. Boom. We've done it. Buck. Beautiful. All right. Oh, oh, this is weird. My God, I haven't lived a mechanic like this for at least like 28 years, right? Because that's how long it's been since I was two years old. All right, we got the F-bomb over here as well. Don't know where that went. Can we climb? Oh, we can climb up on this. Man, we're a little escape artist, aren't we? We are literally the worst. Hey, I thought this was a family-friendly channel. Well, yeah, and until the, uh, the buck stops here. The buck stops here. <laughs> I'm glad I salvaged that weird moment. Uh, open drawers, okay. Uh, this is too slow. Plonk, ow, my poor little knees. I also chose these pajamas in the main menu while I was making sure the game was uh, running smoothly. Did you? Did you? Did you? And here comes the mighty block, knocking over the train. How do we, uh... I did not actually think that that would work. What's happening with the button? Okay, we got a bit of frame drop. I think that it's... No, actually, it stopped. That's crazy. They thought of everything in this game. All right, what's up here? What is this? This is... God knows what the hell that is. Okay, so we got to, like, uh, pull out these drawers and then climb on top of them, right? That's what the tutorial told us to do. There's also a little elephant here. He doesn't look particularly happy. In fact, he looks chronically depressed. What else have we got in here before we open the obvious thing? Also got a giant beanbag that we could probably jump on if we're lucky. Up, oh, I fell over. <laughs> well, that sucks. So we're just learning how to walk, it seems. What's in here? What is in here? Uh. Okay, I'm hiding in the closet. Amnesia style. Or not. Is that a music box? Suck a ball! Throw that over that way. Why did I sound like a grown-ass man? That was weird. Okay, let's climb up on top of here. There is a little music box. What's this? Baby monitor? Let's put it down our pants so Mother can listen to us fart. What? Actually, this will be really annoying. Let's grab this. We'll put it right here. And then we'll turn the train on. <laughs> ah, yes, that'll piss Mother off. <laughs> Just absolute cacophony. Okay, let's look in this gift. What is it? It's nothing. Where's the rest of it? Hello? I thought we had at least a severed teddy's head. Okay. Good. I'm going to check in this toy chest. Maybe there's something in here. Hello? Oh! Hey, Hello there. You found me. Yeah, I did. My name is Teddy. Nice Hi, to Teddy. Meet you. Hey, what's your name? I'm Jensen. I sometimes go by... <laughs> Not much of a talker yet, eh? No, just death growls. What are you pointing at? Let's play a game. Sure. As long as it's not like Soggy Biscuit or something like that. I know. Do you want to write some cuss I'll words? Hide the pink elephant while you're not looking. Okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> Come here. I've just cheesed the Turn game. Around and cover your eyes. Okay. Press escape to cover your eyes. That's cool. I actually love that. That is a very cool mechanic. There. You can look now. Great. The menu is literally a mechanic. Huh. So where the hell did he put it? You got any hints? Warmer. Getting warmer. But it's probably in the closet, right? It's got to be in the closet. Pretty warm. Oh, I've slipped over. Again, in the same spot we slipped over last time. Super warm. Found it! I found it! <laughs> you found it. That's right, I found it, you bastard! Take that! Put that in your pipe and smoke it, crackhead! Get too big! Oh, is that a music box? Does it work? Uh, no. I've tried it just before. It, it doesn't actually work, unfortunately. Oh, do you want to play some bowling, maybe? I could probably do this. Huh, 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 huh. Hiduken! Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> what about the soccer ball? Strike! Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Strike, nice. Do you actually want me to interact with this thing? It's probably going to play something spooky. 
That's Bro, goodbye, baby. Melody. Yeah, I know, right? Dun, 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 dun. Do you want me to sing along? Can't you see how easily I'm bothered by persistence? One step from lashing out at you. You want it to get under my skin and call yourself a friend. I've got more What's blocks this? than you. Ah, uh, that's a train. No, that's a book. Oh, I'll be of luck. I can't read. Fine. Hi, hey there, Tails. I hope your stream went really, really well. On a dry, dry hill. Oh, that's my we kind of book. Could use a drink, they sang and started to drill. Unless yeah. we reach water with our newly dug well, I think we'll have to bid each other fare thee well. Crock of crap. I'm glad I can't read at this point. Not really. It happens. You just got to consistently stream for hours every single Ooh. day for uh, years and years, and then you'll basically be where I am right now. What is it? Does it is it run? the baby monitor? How do you start it? It's always on. Mother's always listening to it. Don't speak directly into it. Oh, you mean the train? Yeah, it's this button right here. Round and round and round. Choo choo. Hey, choo 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 I want to show you something. I'm not sure that's safe. I mean, I'll do it, but. We need some place very dark. Oh, how about my mother's uh, broken marriage? That's a good place to start. Your closet. Sure, that's also a great place. Excuse me, elephant. Just need to get past you here. It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. Sure. Amnesia monster. Good. I had to delete the stream because my PC was bugging out. It happens. You'll basically learn how to run a really, really good stream after a couple of years of just doing it consistently. Monsters in here. Well, there's you. You are a talking beer. If you ever feel scared in a dark place like this. You can hug me tightly. You might feel a little bit safer. What the hell? Can you guys see this? Uh... Is this a horror game? I thought it was just gonna be like an acid trip simulator. We must be careful. I don't like this. Why is he illuminated? This has gotta be a horror, right? This ain't normal. Yesent. As in like it is a horror or it's not a horror? I'm pretty sure that's just a coat, right? This does kind of feel like an acid trip based on, uh, uh what do you call it? Uh, child's imagination. Was that blood? Oh no, it's just sparks flying out of the lamp inside of our closet. Uh. What is the game trying to tell me though? What's around here? Did you hear that? That's not even English! No, oh, that's right, we can't read. That makes sense. I think something's coming. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Wait, did we get turned around and go backwards? What? Oh my god! You are. Hello, what are you mother. Doing in the closet? Oh. What do you think? Are you playing with your new friend? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Bear. Nice to meet you. How are you today? That's not his voice, you <laughs> idiot! You do his voice right! Hiding from mommy. I hope you had a good birthday, hun. It's a horror game, mommy but a very strange one. Ah, okay, okay. Mommy's very sad right now without daddy, anyway. For bed. I know that's like. <laughs> if you go to sleep now, you can wake up early tomorrow and play with your friend. All day. Damn, we're already at second base with mother. Score! Every little boy and girl are sleeping now, all over the world. And they're waiting just for you. We shouldn't keep them. That is some... Sweet dreams. I'm gonna grow up to have anxiety. Why won't she hum the music box song? That's hilarious. One of the best double-A horrors? What, like the battery, or...? This battery would explain the divorce. A 
Okay, Teddy has got to get back up right now, right? But we're so tired, we can't even keep our eyes open. Is Teddy being dragged away? Or is he trying to get up? Kind of hard to tell, honestly. I feel like he's being dragged away. Oh my god. I suspect ghost. Now you gotta leave the stream, might be back. That's absolutely fine. You have a great day or night, Tail. Probably night. <laughs> We're on opposite sides of the world, it seems. Because I checked out time zones. My poor virgin ears! Ow! Why are we so short? Oh, we're crawling. Okay. We are fast at crawling. Good grief. That is absolutely terrifying in the dark. It's raining. We already have a giant picture of a teddy right here, even though we don't have teddy. Can we stand up? Yes. Okay. Are we actually slower when we stand? I feel like we may be. The crouch is very quick. Use Q and E to peek around corners. Why the hell would I want to do that when we can move so fast? I can't do that while I'm crawling. Okay, we better stand up, actually. Okay, let's... We probably have to move this over to the door so we can reach the door handle, right? Just a... Just a game theory. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. And we'll swing this open. Mother! Baby's hungry! What is in this room? Is this Dad's room? Is that where we segregate Father? Why is it so loud in here? Hello, noise? It's locked. Wait, is Teddy in the... Do you think Teddy is in the dryer? Why do I hear like creaking as well? Okay, I'm... Whoa! Oh, I fell. Okay. It actually spooked me. I fell. What's in here? Hello? Mother! No, nothing. What's on, what's on here? Nothing. We can't even go under the table. All I hear is the cacophony of the damned. That's not amazing. Uh, this is also locked. Perhaps we could find a crowbar. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe we've got to find a crowbar and just break our way out. Can we maybe hit the light switch? No, we can't reach. Let's pull this plug out. Oh, we do actually do. Ah, oh, cool. And now we open this. Thank you. Something's not right. We need to find your mother. Now, why is she keeping us away from father? Is he the antagonist of the game? Oh, Teddy, you're really wet and you smell awful. Yuck. I think it's pronounced pepperous. <laughs> no, no, it's pepperous. It's pepperous here. Over here in New Zealand, we uh, we pronounce different we pronounce words differently to the rest of the world uh, because we have something called an accent. Very quiet. Can't let it find us. Let what find us? Teddy, I'm a YouTuber. Quiet is not in my vocabulary. What is this? Oh, I found a free shoe. So, what are we hiding from? Why does this open so far? Can we go in here? No. Hello? Mother? Father? Demon? I don't know yet. Oh, hello there. That wasn't really a jump scare. That was just kind of like a kind little interlude, I think. Inter introduction. I don't know what that was, but I picked it up. Poltergeist? Is poltergeist happening? Do we unplug this? Do we uh, steer into the static? I've fallen over. Well, that sucks. What kind of video to cassettes have we got? Finding Nemo. Uh, we've got Unicorn Surprise, Ch uh, Charlie the Magic Unicorn. We've got, um... Oh, what is it called? Uh, Tropic Thunder. We've got Tropic Thunder. And another copy of Tropic Thunder. I can't hear anything, by the way. <laughs> is it really... Is it really pissing down with rain out there? Let's go take a look. Oh, kind of pissing down with rain a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do some sprinting all the way over to this side of the room. I've fallen over. God, my legs are so clumsy. Why can't I just learn how to walk? There's nothing in here. I'm going through the counter. 
Oh, another drawing. What is this, Slender, the eight pages? Graphics are a little bit better, honestly, gotta be said, than Slender, the eight pages. Okay, we're on top of the kitchen bench. Mother's not home, you know what that means? Baby on the bench, I broke a plate. <laughs> I didn't realize we could even do that. What about over here? Can we break the plates on there too? So, ow, my face. Let's try and jump up on this, and then we'll get up onto the kitchen counter. Uh, let's see what is at the bottom of this blender. We'll stick a hand through the top or not. Okay, there's a pot here. Maybe we could be the ones. Okay, I hope there was nothing in that. Pan on the floor, good. Mother's not home, baby on the bench. Bread bin, that can go on the floor as well. Uh, also these cotton towels. Toaster does not go on the floor. That goes in the sink over here, if it fits. Try and just re ream this in here. Live, laugh, toast, bath. Okay, let's start breaking plates. Uh, what is what is the thing? What what is the thing that they say? Oh, they don't break. Oh, they don't break at all. Is it Hanukkah? No. Muzzle tub. Muzzle tub. Damn, those are sturdy plates. What about all of these spices? They can go off the edge as well. Good, good, good. We've also got a bread knife here. We could probably play with that because Mother's asleep as well. Oh, we know better, I think. Let's just leap off the ledge here. What is this in the corner? That is... Nightmarish. Okay, we'll put it with the spices as our calling card. Okay, we've got to kind of like uh, drag a chair over or something like that. We'll probably play with the broken plate pieces as well. All the things that we can just kind of not do while Mother is awake. All right, let's jump up on here. And now we open this handle. We thrust this door open. Now we climb over this chair. No, we can't. We've blocked ourselves out. Okay, that's fine. Let's just move this chair back then. Hello? Damn, that actually gave me a bit of a fright. The big trench coat. Baby is loose. It is the morning and baby is loose. He's already made an absolute huge mess. Uh, can we trigger this fire extinguisher? No. Slender. Slender page. Also another slender page. Oh, apparently that's mom. We are the crappiest artist I think I have ever seen. Yuck. What a yucky piece of art. Any artists in chat want to review this piece of garbage right here? I think this is revolting. All of the kind of like, the omba, I would say, of the penmanship is just completely off. And they're not even really using the rule of thirds. Just disgusting, really. Vile, revolting. Don't know why anybody would ever want that. Is this supposed to be going like something that is holding something up? Oh, what happened? I missed it. I've seen much worse. <laughs> I doubt it. That was just the worst art in the world. Hello? Baby is loose. What the hell is going on up there? Light switch? What the hell is going on in here? Is that like a smash in the wall? Is this, is this the lore room about, oh, it's nice, Slender the Eight Pages page right there. Is this the lore room where we find out that daddy was actually a, uh, an abusive, a physically abusive piece of garbage and uh, mother left him because he was, you know, a physically abusive piece of garbage? What's that? That's a giant mug. I think we may have bought it because it looks like ass. I think we are literally the world's worst artist. Okay, there is a safe over here. Can we open it? Probably not, to be honest. No, I don't think we can, actually. Okay, let's bust in here. Yo, what's up? It's your baby! Okay, what's through this gap right here? Is that mother? I think that may be mother. Yeah, I think that's mother just sleeping in her bed. Hopefully she's still alive. I'm going to try and open, oh my face. I'm gonna try and open these drawers and we're gonna see if there's not another Slender the Eight Pages page up here. Okay, we've got a couple of things. Don't know what this is. Let's see if mother is actually awake. Well, that was completely silent. Let's keep on throwing these on the floor. Don't know what they are, but not our problem. Okay, there is a radio over here. Oh no, curse this gap. Don't know what this is either, but I'm gonna throw that on the ground. That was loud. What is this? Toaster? Handbag? Ah, well, not my problem. Let's go ahead and pull one of these out. I'm surprised that landed. Is there a page over here? What is this? That's a hat. Ah, well. Now it's on the floor. I don't see any pages. Maybe there's not. Oh! A page! 
A sad page. Is that, what is that, like a, a sad clown? Is that supposed to be us? Why don't we have a body? We know we've got a body in the game. It's canon because if we look down, there's a, there's a body right there, see? And we're picking our belly button right now. We know that we're picking our belly button because we can see our body. Crazy. Crazy how the world works. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, I'm actually stuck. Oh, here we go. Good. I think I may have exceeded the height limit for that area. Go ahead and move these out of the way. Make a real big mess. Uh, we can't open this. Do we maybe... Damn, that is a long drawer. Okay, let's get up onto this long drawer. And then we will try and open the door from up top. I'm coming in. Hide your biddies. Baby's on the loose. What's in here? There's a hat in here. Better throw that in the ground as well. Okay, we'll climb up here. We'll see what mother is up to. Mother? Hello? What are you doing un under there? What? Oh no. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, uh, I'm going for the closet! No! Close it! Close that closet! Ooh. The door opened. Is something coming in? Hello? I'm gonna switch closets! I'm switching closets. Hello, mother? Monster? Is this like Monstrum? What is she humming? Pantera? I hate that so much. This big shape right here with the shoes. Okay, let's grab something to defend ourselves with. Maybe this clog will do the trick. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry that I've made such a mess. If you intend to punish me, you should know that I have a wooden shoe and I will strike you with it. I learned that trick from father. We didn't throw these on the ground. Who did that? Oh, the fridge is open. Are there any notes in here? No. What does that say? Osti Ike Frokost. All right, well, that's going on the floor, whatever the hell that is. I don't really see anything else. Mother? Oh my God, what the hell? Oh no! That actually caught me out. I was like, I was, I was being a little bit silly, but that one genuinely gave me a, a good spook and a half. I think I've crapped my pants. Oh, hello there. What the hell? Can we go under here? Yes! Mother! The poltergeist has exited the television! That is an overkill grandfather clock, by the way. Usually a pendulum is just hanging by a string, not a gigantic ornate slab of gold. That is so bougie. So unnecessarily bougie. Can we play the piano? I can play a little bit of piano. I know Silent Hill 2's reprise. Oh yeah, that's stealthy. Can we do it again? No. Yes! Nice. Can we jump on it and play it with our bum? Absolutely not. Okay, I've done that a few times. What the hell? What's going on over here? Nothing, it seems. Paint all over the place. There's a lamp right here. A gigantic Pixar stomping lamp. Probably want to be cautious of it, to be honest. Does this place even exist? It's her. Hey. Hello? Hello? It's Baby. Can you see our reflection? No? It used to belong to your grandma. Really? Where is she now? I guess she can't hear us. And she seems so distant. Maybe it's more like a memory of her? It can't be. She's got... She's clipping. Some... This is... proves that she's actually real. I'm taking it. And she's gone. Not that was weird. Why is this bricked over? 
Press tab to view your memories. What the hell is this? Huh? Okay, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to do, but... <sighs> Very spooky. Oh, we actually have our teddy light, we, which we have not been using. So this kind of seems like a really disturbing basement area, right? Or at least our interpretation of what the basement area is like. This is made of bronze. This whole place is so bougie. Also, we've just broken our ankles. Good thing we can crawl. Are you all right? Yeah, but where are we? Oh, hey, Teddy. How you doing? Oh, what is this place? I'm suspecting Silent Hill. I am definitely suspecting Silent Hill. All right, get on me, Teddy. Get on me. It's not safe here. Can we curse? Oh my god, what? Hey. That's New Zealand slang. This one has numbers. That's either a six or a nine. Can't really tell. I've just hit my head on the pipe. That's pretty funny. We're going to go under the pipe. Oh, delightful. I found Baba Yaga's house. Excellent. Okay, let's throw that through the map, apparently. What's that doing here? I was probably to play in, my dude. Hello? Is it made of candy? Is there a witch living inside? Is it locked? I yes. I might be able to open it from the inside if you help me up. Okay, there you go, Teddy. Don't get caught. And if you see any candy in there, don't eat it. She's trying to fatten you up so she can eat you herself. Whoa, look at this place. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Didn't actually think you'd be able to do it. This is a mess. Why are we here? Hey, those are the notes we collected. We collected both of those notes, didn't we? I'm certain we did. I remember Listen, this one right here. There it is again. It sounds like it's coming from behind this door. There must be a way to open it. Okay. It seems like these are connected somehow. What are these? What are you talking about? The fire. Don't get in there, Teddy, you oaf. What are you doing? Ah, oh, well. I had a hunch it would end like Hansel and Gretel. sort of key. Is there anything we can use? Not really. If I had a crowbar, I could probably just leverage it open, but I don't really think that's a... O1N. What are these characters? Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Can we clean up a little bit? Let's try cleaning up just a, just a smidge. This place is an absolute pigsty, and I feel like it's a player hub. Go ahead, put these in here. Done. Okay, close. No cigar. Anything in here? No. Right, okay, so let's hit the wood. No, we can't hit the wheel. We actually do need some kind of key, don't we? All right, what is this thing here? It's a mess of copper oxide and pipes. Don't know why I went for the copper oxide first, but, you know, it is what it is. If. Sorry, Teddy. Am I supposed to get in here or something? You want me to close this? Okay, apparently that's locked open, which is just weird. Do we crawl under the bed, maybe? Hello? No, we can't crawl under the bed, but we can speed around the place. Let's close this. Tip my head on that. A little bit clumsy. Nothing else really that we can use, is there? Maybe we can use something over here. I'll get up onto this table, I think. Uh, there's nothing behind there. Gotcha. And I can't go any further this way because I'm pretty sure we can go out of bounds this way. Can we go up? No, we can't. Okay, well, I did try. Is there something in the microwave? I bet there is. I'm going to check anyway. Just in case there is actually something in the microwave here. There's nothing in the microwave. Gotcha! Okay. Okay, that doesn't go in there. I tried. Maybe we actually do have to clean up. Is that a thing? Is that something we actually have to do? Maybe we pick Teddy up? No, we can't pick Teddy up. Okay, I'm going to try and actually clean up, see what this does. Whoops. These are heavy blocks. That thing fell down with the, the kind of weight of a block of lead. Alright, that one can go in there. This one can go in the chest too. 
And I think maybe these ones also have to go in the chest, perhaps. Let's try and slam dunk him. Whoops, that's a bad one. And you! Good, that one went in. And this one can also go in. Excellent. And this one too. Boom! Okay, those are in the chest. It just got one left. Put it in there. And now we close the lid. Did that do anything? No, I don't actually think it did. Weird! Alright, so we have to kind of like... Go and find something to work that furnace, right? Is there anything out here, maybe? Oops, I've fallen over. That sucks. It's a good thing we can crawl so fast. A lot of blocks over here. I'm not sticking those in the chest whatsoever. Oops, fell over again. Oh well. What a treacherous playland. Alright, let's have a really, really good look at whatever the hell this thing is. So there's two lights on either side. They're not really doing anything, necessarily. There's a couple of glass jugs at the side here. Don't know what that is. There's one on both of the sides here. Nothing in there. Can't really use anything else. Can we jump up on these? No, we cannot. Righty-ho, then. So, it seems like we're supposed to get something in. Side of these jars, right? Supposed to get something inside of these jars? Maybe we put the blocks in? No? Nothing? What if we just jam it in here? Nothing. Right! This is weird. Don't know what the hell we're doing. Can't jump up onto that bed. What if we close this? Well, nothing's really changed, has it? Aside from all of this creaking, which is becoming very tiresome. Gotta be said, gotta be said. Okay, don't really think there's anything in this toy chest, right? No, there's not. Can we jump on it? No. Ah! That's strange. Oh! Right! Okay, so we have to light the necklace. Our mother's necklace on fire. This is just degenerate behaviour, though. Gotta be said. It's degenerate behaviour. I'm spinning the wheel! Whoops, I spun myself as well. Did a complete 360. Uh-oh. Look. Yeah, I see it. Buttons. Oh, hi, Teddy. <laughs> Yo, I can press the buttons. What happened? Why didn't it open? Both at once, most likely. Maybe we have to press both at the same time. Hi, dear thief. That's Got it. it. What is it sucking? It what on the Lovecraft is this? Unlocked the door. Maybe right. If we can find more memories like this, it might bring us to her. Done. It looks like we need three more. I feel like we're kind of doing the thing that our mother did to us with Teddy, right? Oh, a shovel. What do we do with this? I'm taking it with us. Can we hop up on top of this? Yes, we can. Uh, we'll grab the shovel and down we go! And we've broken our ankles. It is what it is. That sucks. It sucks when we break our ankles. Okay. Where are we? I think this is Tartarus. I just got the achievement, Baby Mozart. Can we actually play this? What a piece of crap. It doesn't even work. The red one's busted too. Okay, let's get our teddy light out. Oh, it slows us down. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, what about these illuminating lights? Don't really think they do anything. What's up here? Sweet FA. Probably the sweetest of all FA, to be quite honest. Okay. What is this? Is this supposed to be Moloch? Is that what that represents? Is our father like a pagan who tried to sacrifice us to Moloch in exchange for unbelievable wealth? Anything on the other corners of these? No, not really. Or maybe. I don't think so, though. We'll wait anyway. No, there's no reason to get on any of the other corners. It's just a little transit revolving door of some sort. I'm sprinting through. We're probably going to fall oh, over soon. Over there. It looks like another memory across that bridge. There's a bike. There is a bike. There is a bike! How do we go over there? Ah, down here. Great. 
Yes. And I'm going down the slip and slide. Woo! Broken ankles! I don't know how we keep landing on our feet. Oh, we tower? don't. <laughs> That's funny. All right. There's a sand pit here. Can we dig in the sand pit? Or can we eat some sand, maybe? Dig, dig, dig. Throw it down our gullet. Yum, yum, yum. Nothing tastier than the sharp end of a shovel down your throat. Okay, nothing down here. You know, shovel down the throat was actually a, uh, a very strict diet of World War I. I found another little moloch. I don't really want to get on that because of the obvious hazards. It looks like a catapult. And I am no cat. We can't really jump that way. Okay, we're probably going to have to use the catapult then. Why are the ashes beneath it? Does it just like... Does it shoot you so fast that you atomize? And only your ashes are left behind? Because that would suck. Is this a note we can take? Nice! Now the Slender 8 Pages page right there. Probably should have actually looked at the drawings on it. But I didn't really see any need to. We've fallen over again. This is becoming a cumbersome mechanic. All right, what's down here? Oops! I've fallen over. That looks like a gate of some sort. Can we open it? Not with what we have. I'm going into this little shed. Hi, friend. Hello, silly dino. How are we today? We've got a little moloch over here. We've also got a car of some sort. I took the moloch. There's also a saw. Maybe we want to keep the saw. Oh, we've been uh, locked in. That's not good. In fact, that's exactly what I would consider to be a bad thing. This is bad. This is very bad. What are we supposed to do in here? I've got a weapon! I've got a weapon! Don't test me! Baby's got a knife! You should be careful. Why? I'm gonna go back and check that catapult right there, see what it actually does. It may not actually be a catapult. Oops, I've fallen. Okay, let's get back up. Let's get a head. Oh, we can't actually climb this for some reason. Oh, yes, we can. We just climb onto the pile of ashes. Aha. Right, so we got to stick something on here to weigh it down. I gotcha. I gotcha. And we're probably going to find that in here, right? I mean, that tree in the distance looks promising. We could probably just put that tree on the capital. catapult. We've fallen over. Okay, that was either a fart or something much worse. Which way should we go? I'm gonna go this way. We'll see what's this way first. Ah! An underground tunnel. That is not amazing whatsoever. We don't actually want to take that tunnel. I don't think we should take that tunnel. Okay, we're falling over again. Go ahead, get back up off of our feet. What is this? A sack of potatoes? What is this? I mean, it looks pretty heavy. I don't know though. I don't know what we're supposed to stack up onto the catapult looking thing. Alright, that's just a little jungle gym. I think we're supposed to go that way. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look up this... What's my dingle right here? Nice! A ball! Okay, we can't really go up that direction. There is a platform that we can climb up. Alright, let's try this out. Let's try out this slide thing. Let's see what all the, the fuss and the hullabaloo is about. Are we ready? Whee! Well, that was lame. <laughs> that was super lame. All right, what's up here? I don't know what that is. Probably just get Teddy out and see. Looks like some kind of plush or a sack of potatoes. Hard to tell. We've got another revolving door right here. I'm gonna go ahead and check out this other third option that we can go down. Cause there was kind of like this path over here, right? Past these trees, these disturbing trees. Oh, there's a couple of paths actually. There's that way and there's this way over here. Let's see what we're working with before we kind of commit to it. Okay, got stuck on that entrance way. Another shovel right there. Uh, there is actually something that we can look behind. Excellent. We'll fall over right here. Good. We went face down into the mud. Absolutely fine. We'll get our illuminating teddy out. There's a gigantic moloch right here. Maybe we have to... Oh, bugger. Oh, this is not good, actually. This is what I would consider to be a bad encounter. Oh, and we got a note! Excellent. And we're stuck. That's bad. Oh no. Do we go in the bum hole of this thing? I'm going in. I can't go in. Okay. 
Good to know. Oh, one of them disappeared. That was lucky. Otherwise, we'd be stuck there for literally all eternity. Anything down here? No. What about down here? Ah, a gaping hole into the pit of despair. Sure, why not? I'm sure we'll go back to that other area at some point. Uh, we're trapped, we're trapped. No, we're not, come on. Grow a pair of nuts, Teddy. I'm two years old and I've got more nuts than you. <laughs> oh my God, sorry, I'm allergic to um, claims about people's nuts, including my own. This place creeps me out. Yeah, me too. Mother's okay. Uh, she's not my first priority at this point. Gotta be said, I am actually more focused on my own survival. Teddy, maybe you should be too. There's a Moloch over here. Maybe we should grab this little Moloch. Uh, I don't want to fall down the pit just yet, though. Oh! Hey there, buddy! This is, uh, needlessly disturbing. Screenshot! Except that is my wallpaper. Ah, we can- we can actually come out. Excellent. Let's move that plank, and somehow we will open this gigantic heavy hatch door. I don't know how we're doing this as a two-year-old child. We are destined to be a carpenter, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Moloch. I took the Moloch. It was nesting over the hole, but I took it anyway. Okay, we popped out of the hole. Exactly at the one we found before. Wonderful. So we could probably try go down that way, but I think it's probably gonna be better if we just kind of like slip and fall and maybe toughen our face up a little bit against the ground. There was another path just over here. And I'm not entirely sure if we can actually activate that spinning Watsmadingle. Hello? There's a Moloch in there. I do, and also a Slender Page, which we can't grab. Maybe we have to remove this rock and then open it. It doesn't want to move. Okay, shall we try leverage, maybe? Maybe we should try unhooking this and swinging it into the rock? No? There's also a stump here. Maybe we get up onto the stump so we can get a, a better grip on this tire. Got it! What is that? Oh, there's just a toy. Gotcha. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this with the most jank mechanics I think I've played since Amnesia the Dark Descent. Please? Man, Penumbra handle better than this. Okay, good. We got it. So we got a Slender the Eight Pages note and also another Moloch. Hello? Mutter? Is that do? Okay, nothing that way. Let's go this way and we'll see whether or not we can actually go on the revolving carousel. Because we may be able to. We may not be able to. We just don't know. This game reminds me of Outlast 2 right now. Which is a little bit weird, isn't it? Malak! Malak! Okay, we gotta get on the other side of here somehow, right? I, oh, there's also a Slender the Eight Pages page over there too. We can't like, uh, no, we can't snipe him through that gap there. I think this is actually a return segment from somewhere else. There's a giant Moloch over there as well, I think. That's a tentacle. Okay, that's gross. That's really, really gross. Okay, we gotta go around here maybe? Do we climb up the rocks? We can go, we can go do some bouldering, perhaps? What is this? Probably poison cap of some sort. Okay, that was busy work for the sake of busy work, I think. Got that, and we also got this Moloch right here. It is spinning the way we want it to spin. Is there a nest somewhere? Dunno. Alright, what's in here? What is up this hidden looking path? Nothing. It's just a light for the sake of lighting. Gotcha! Okay, let's try and go back. We've got quite a few Molochs. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing with these, but we certainly have enough to maybe go back. I've fallen over. What am I, am I having some kind of schizophrenic attack? I've got a ball. I've got a ball. I will David Beckham you to death. Maybe, if you're unlucky. Okay, I think we put all the Molochs on this nest looking thing right here, right? Yep, here we go, Molochs. Good, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. All right, I solved the puzzle. I think that's supposed to be a smile, but it doesn't really look like one, does it? Oh man, I thought those Molochs were like little collectibles, but as it turns out, they are not little collectibles. Damn, this place is just nightmare fuel. Especially that, right there. That's gonna make a great thumbnail though. 
All right, let's go ahead and throw ourselves onto the ground. Threw me on the ground. Anything in this tiny little oven? No, can't access it. Let's go around this building. I think we are now at some kind of like Far Cry 3 based platforming system. And maybe there's like a radio at the top of this tower that we have to activate. It's down here. Oh, we could probably actually jump off and break our legs, but I'm not entirely sure if that's a, a good idea. It's probably not responsible. Anything else? Nope, this is actually just a Far Cry 3 based tower climb. Funny. I do like how influential a lot of first person shooters are on indie games. Oh, more Molochs. Hi, Molochs. I'm going to take the Slender the A Pages page and we're also going to take the shovel. And we're going to throw it at this bicycle, which I'm pretty sure is not ours. Otherwise, I would have just thrown it off the ledge here. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. What is this? Disneyland? Are we remembering Disneyland here? I've fallen over. Oh no. Do you want to hear the melody again? Yes. All right, one more time. One more then time. It's time for bed. Two more times. Get your see how easily. I love the idea of like deathcore or heavy metal songs being in a music box. Oh, we're walking on an xylophone. That's kind of cool, actually. I oh, like that. Finally, we must be getting closer. What's that, Teddy? What's up? How about you cradle my bosom? Can we go out here? Maybe. Maybe if we put Teddy away. No, we can't climb out there. Can we climb out here? No. Okay, let's get into this pipe and perhaps break our ankles once more. Oh, they're just broken ankles. What does a baby need ankles for anyway? They can't walk yet. Wunderbar! And we are popping out of the butthole. We, made it back. we did! What's up with your dead eyes? I wonder if he's supposed to kind of like represent our father who we don't get to see much. With his shifty gaze. Maybe. Hard to tell, to a point. I'm not picking him up. We're going back to the house. I will throw a cuss at you. Here you go. I missed. That's embarrassing. We have to find a way to safety. Find a way out of this mess. Uh, how about we go into the Baba Yaga's hut just over here? I had a sneaky suspicion that this would be kind of like a player hub when I saw all those glass jars before we even stuck something into it. She must be so worried about you. Who messed up our house? Don't be afraid. You and me will work this all out together. I'm picking lint out of my belly button. All right, let's go ahead and throw this music box into the furnace. We'll eradicate some of our childhood innocence, I think. We'll throw our favorite things into this furnace and then we'll destroy them. Why? I have no idea. One 360. Good. Okay, and it's going to knock it all the way up through these pipes and down and probably into this one here. Maybe? I'm betting this one. Yes, she sounds clearer now. No, it's this Don't one here. Think? Ooh, who's she? Probably mother, right? All right, next butthole we go. Come on, we have no time to lose. Really? All right, I'll meet you in there. You're in the way. <laughs> Teddy, get out of the way. I don't want to pick him up. Just walk along behind me, you oaf. Okay, I gave him a little bit of a pet. A little bit of a, a nice cheeky pet there. The hell just spawned over here. Whoa. Why are we doing this? Is that us? Oh, we've got Teddy on our back. There's literally a shadow of Teddy on it. That's a nice touch. I wonder if that was intentional. I do really like that we have an entire character model. And I also kind of like that our head like pivots in front of the face. That's a really good way around kind of like flipping into the next scene every time you look down in a video game, which uh, surprisingly, a lot of game developers don't really ever take into account. Why would the player ever want to look completely down? I don't know, to see the character model you put in the game? One might think. Call me crazy. The hell? Oh, this is all kind of like Victorian era furniture, right? Okay, so we're in Amnesia, the Dark Descent territory here. I'm just going to run through. I'm going to use my face to open doors from now on. I think that's going to be the way that we, we kind of go through, right? Probably the best way. What is this place? I think we should keep quiet. Uh, this is Castle Brennenberg, my dude. What is this? Ah... 
it's it's a way to a door handle, I think. But where is the door handle? That is the next question. Is there a door handle? There is a door here. Can't reach that door handle. There is also no knob on this door handle. Maybe that is the door handle. Maybe that is the knob. And it's just really fiddly to kind of deal with. All right, I'm going through. Use our face to open the door. Not even gonna bother touch it with our hands. Not with Teddy in our hands. Those right. Things, they look like memories. It leaves. The next one is behind those roots. Maybe. Okay, we are now climbing Yggdrasil. Uh. It's a puzzle. Oh damn, that's a hard one too. I'm not sure we could actually solve this one. Probably way above our capabilities of, of puzzle solving, unfortunately. I've done a four piece puzzle before, but like six pieces, it's just undoable, honestly. It can't be done. It can't be done. We're gonna, we're actually gonna give up. Okay, well, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find, no, I'm not actually gonna end it. <laughs> I was just having a laugh at my own expense. I found a puzzle piece. It is literally flashing. Let's go ahead, grab this. That's probably what these chairs are for, right? Okay, got this. Can we break this? No, we can't. Well, I did try. That'd be funny. What, just giving up as soon as you find the tutorial puzzle? It would be pretty funny, actually. I bet there's something in here. Let's go ahead, open it. Let's open this little armoire dresser right over here. We'll climb onto it next. And we'll pull out Teddy and we'll see what we've got to work with. Okay, Teddy, you're actually in the way. Piss off now, please. Okay, nothing in there. Anything around us? Not really. We could probably climb over this if we get one of the little armoire things. And what am I talking about? They're footrests or ottomans. They're not armoires. Come on, me. Don't be stupid. Okay, I'm going to throw a chair just over here. Woo! Look at it go! I'm cheering! Oh, I thought we could move it, but turns out we can't. I think maybe we go back then? I'm not sure if we can get kind of like over the... Over the branches over there. We'll try, obviously. We'll try and get all the branches. There might be something in here, but I highly doubt it because we went through here. We didn't see anything flashing. We could probably get this footrest over here somewhere. What is that? Oh, I think we uh, may have found a puzzle piece. Okie dokie. All I hear is, again, cacophony of the damned. Okay, how do we get up there, though? On this, maybe? Then up there? Perhaps. All right, someone's busting down doors. Not very cash money at all. Uh, that looks to be a Bible to me. Can we climb onto it? Maybe? No, we cannot. I thought that that was actually going to be something. What is that on the roof? It's like a weird glyph on the ceiling up there. It kind of looks like Hermaeus Mora. But I could be completely wrong. It's been a long time since I've seen Hermaeus Mora. Although I am good buddies with him. Thanks to the old Soulzyme DLC for Skyrim. Is there anything back the way we came, maybe? Back in the uh, butthole tube? No, I don't actually think there is. Okay, there is a candle up there. A pulpit! That's what that is. The thing with the Bible on it. It's called a pulpit. I was just kind of like racking my brain trying to figure out what it was called. I don't think we can go in here. There's a tree blocking it. And there's a vase up there that we could probably break at some point, but I'm not entirely sure if we want to do that just yet. Okay, let's see if we can climb over these roots, because it doesn't really seem to me like we can move any of the furniture around. It's a little bit of a shame. Or maybe we actually have to stick the puzzle in there first. Boom! Oh, okay, that's exactly what we do. We go sequentially, bit by bit. I thought that maybe we were supposed to, I don't know, do it all at once, because that's how I like to hand in collectibles. I like to hand in collectibles all at once. Wow, I don't know what sound effect that was, but that was, uh, harrowing <laughs> to the ears. Yet slightly addictive. I have that illness, by the way. That illness, which is kind of like a rare illness that 
thins out the bones in the ears so that you get a little bit of vertigo every time you listen to certain oscillating bass frequencies. Very cool how it works. So if anybody watching this has ever had kind of like a, a weird, almost drunk-like response when you were completely sober to things like low dubstep or even like uh, some death metal with really low-tuned guitars can also trigger it. You have a thinness in your ears which resonates and it makes you kind of like a little bit loopy. Cool how it works though. We haven't found a single enemy in this game so far. It told me I could lean around corners. Why would I bother lean? Why am I pulling this out? Is this a drawer? What, are, what is in this? Not a lot of junk in that trunk. Uh, let's get up on this one then, I suppose. Looks like we're going to climb a tree. Probably the worst idea we could possibly... Possibly muster as a literal child. What's this? Okay, we are now escaping out of a window. All of this is just bad ideas stacking up. Real, real crazy. Okay, let's go through here. There may be something in this... What's my dingle down? Oh, we broke our legs instead. That's fine. Let's go ahead and crouch so we can actually get around this. I want to see inside of every single little nook and cranny in this game so we don't miss any, like, lore or collectibles. Okay, that one doesn't open. Anything down here? Maybe. Bunch of poisonous mushrooms. Very nice. Oh, there is actually a lot up here. I think that's supposed to be where we escape from, though. All right, let's go through the intended path, I suppose. Any notes around the place? I think they kind of flash. All right, good. I don't know what that sound effect in the background was, but it, it sounded like the intro of Word Up by Korn. Word Up. Okay, we'll come up here. Word Up is the weirdest corn song I've ever heard. Simply because it's not re it doesn't really sound like a, the standard weird corn songs that corn likes to write. Word Up is kind of like a strange pop song. Okay, it's off of their first album. Korn's first album. Then they started releasing songs like Twisted Transistor and uh, other, other bangers like that. What is this? Something else, weird. Which kind of solidified them as very, very solid contributors to the weird metal music genre. Strange that they released such a such a, an out-of-character banger. I don't know if we checked over here for collectibles. Anything over here? Oh, this looks familiar. It kind of looks like the place that we were locked into. Looks like the, the dog gate. Also, a little pro tip for anybody who's having a baby. Buy yourself a dog gate. <laughs> It will save you so much headache in the long run. That's what my sisters had when uh, they were born, so that they didn't, like, crawl off and accidentally stumble into, like, the gin collection or anything like that. Uh, this obviously has to be pushed off the edge. What's hissing? Why? That is... This seems like a massive design flaw. Why would they plumb? Why would they plumb a fireplace? Doesn't make any sense. Is there anything in here? No, because it just got extinguished. Very good. All right, there's a globe over here. We could probably turn it. Nope, developers never thought of that. The hole in the floor over here behind he Teddy's head. You'll have to trust me on that one. There's a glyph over here as well. This is the second glyph that we've seen, which is kind of strange. What if we kind of like fall through the... Oh, no, we can't. I think we kind of have to go around onto these platforms, right? We still haven't seen any spooky monsters. Well, we've seen one, I think, which was in our house. But nothing necessarily in Nightmare Land. So maybe Nightmare Land is actually not a Nightmare Land. Maybe Nightmare Land is, is the real canon safe. Is this going to break if we drop it off the edge? No, it just flat out disappears. I don't know why I heard breaking dishes either. Muzzle tar! Okay, we've got a block over here. What the hell is that? What on the Majora's Mask is this thing? Right here. Okay, I picked it up and a creepy noise sounded. Not surprised. So are these supposed to be kind of like deranged bastardizations of the toys that we actually have? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing in there. Gotcha. Okay, we've got a little toy car. There's a spider web over here that we can't really go through. It looks like we've got a slender the eight pages page right here. Very nice, very nice. And we've also got an ethereal vent. I'm opening it. I thought it would completely open. It did not. Gotcha. 
So here we are. All over. We are now in a crawl space. Right. We found a puzzle piece. So Wonderful. Hello, Caterpillar. Huh? What does that say? N-O-B. Noob. How dare you? Yep, oh, got another Slender the Eight Pages page right there. Very nice. Ow, I just hit myself in the face with the tree. Can't really jump up onto it either. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna open that bad boy and let's hop on back up if we can. Yep, excellent. And this one also will hop up on this one. This is a very conveniently placed, although I don't know why the tree is storing its roots in the tree. It's like the last place it's gonna find nutrients. We did it! I'm going back. Let's let's hand in this puzzle piece. And we should be absolutely fine to see this next third area. Where the hell are we? Ah, good. Sorry, I just had an anger response. Why do I hear like a thousand cockroaches in my ear? Is that intended in the game? <laughs> oh, there we go. We fell over. That's funny. Oh, no! Are we dead? We actually just died! Is it calling me a dummy? Because that'd be funny. That'd be quite funny. What? What happened? That noise is horrid, by the way. It's absolutely a truly revolting noise. Why all the way back here? I fell through a piece of the map I didn't realize was... was a bad part of the map. All right, fine. We'll climb up that tree again, it seems. Okay. Wait a minute, are we going backwards? I think we may be going backwards. Okay, let's stand up and we'll kind of push past the normal area of progression. I didn't fall over, I chose to crawl that time. Our knees are gonna be so bruised, by the way. Like, so bruised. Okay, let's get on top of this drawer right here. We gotta look at that bridge, by the way, before we just randomly walk across anything that we may, in our head canon, deem safe. Right, let's go down here. Nice. All right, got another pulpit. This might be representative of kind of like our parents' religious influence, maybe, so far. And we don't really understand it. Which is why we're collecting figurines of Moloch. We, we would choose to be pagan. All right, what did we fall down? Oh, I see. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't believe we actually fell down that. And we have to go into this painting, don't we? Sorry? Who said that? Hello? That is a big ass chandelier. This all uh, kind of give me religious vibes, honestly. Obviously there's the warden's pulpit, but I don't know what these owls are supposed to be representing. Because owls generally represent the pagan deity, Moloch. Let's not dwell here for too long. Okay. I actually just tried to put that puzzle piece in the wrong slot, by the way. It was a 50-50 chance and I, I went for the wrong gamble. All right, what's next? Oh, mother is drinking from the well. Mother is drunk from the well. What the hell? Oh, there you go. There's that uh, thinness in the ear bones test again. Oh, what's in here? Can we open these? Please? Oh, absinthe! Yes, please, baby likes. Good, we'll take that absinthe with us. There's nothing more essential to a baby's kind of like growth than absinthe. And we've also got a bottle of Midori right here, which is also very excellent. We'll bring that one out. Oh no, I think we just smashed the Midori. No, we did not. In fact, we can't smash the Midori. That's lucky. Because we'd be in deep trouble if we did that. Baby covered in booze and broken glass? No, 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 no. All right, what's in this? Nothing. Actually, is there anything over here? No. Just more hints at religious influence. Okey. Okey. Can we open this? Ow, my head. Yes, we can. Let's try and jump up on it. Hello? 
All right, there's a giant chair right here, which is giving me real eerie vibes. And also, I'm pretty sure that's the Slender the Eight Pages page right under this chair. All right, can't see Dick Diddley. Can we climb the chair? Oh, we can actually climb the chair. What is up the chair, though? Nothing. There is nothing up the chair. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and try and cream our way through again. There's a candle right here. I don't think we're supposed to light this. At all. Okay, nothing down there. I saw there was a little path just kind of off the side here. Hello? I'm Yinsen. This place is cold and damp. I might catch a cold. Okay, we'll drop to our knees here. Like a Breaking Benjamin song. We found more booze. Found more piss. Great. Maybe we'll slam some whiskey later. What's in here? And actually, before we go into that one, let's check out this bottom one first. Nothing. Uh, okay, we're climbing now. We're going up. We're climbing. This is actually an armoire. Nothing. Nothing. And I don't think there's anything over there because we can actually see behind the kind of uh, visual screen right there. Oh, what's this? Another hint at some creepy stuff. Fantastic. That's... What kind of dog is this? What kind of dog is this? Good. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to get down and... We'll go through this little crawl space right here. Perfect. And here we go. And out here we go. Excellent. Hello? It sounds like something's here, but I, I know there's actually nothing here. Can we open these? Any piss? A little bit of piss. A little bit of piss indeed. Any more piss in here? Well, every single cabinet seems to have piss here. Probably can't climb. Oh, yeah, we can definitely climb up onto this. Let's go ahead and do that. Can we climb up here next? No. What about onto this table? No. We are now stuck on this chair. Excellent. Probably try and use this to get up onto this bed. Maybe we can see if there's like a slender eight pages page on the bed. No, we cannot. Wait, what's in here? Hello? No. So close. Okay, let's get up onto the ottoman right here. And we'll open this bad boy. Or not. It's fine too. Can we reach this? No, we need the ottoman to reach it. Okie dokie. Put this right here. We'll climb up onto it. And we'll open it. I used my hands this time instead of my face to open the door, which was a bold choice, but it was a choice that paid off. Hello? Oh my god! Me no like. Me no like. Me no like indeed. Can we go through the curtain? No. I hope we don't encounter her. Oh, this place is drafty as hell. What's in here? Any piss? Maybe? No, no piss in this one. That's strange. Maybe we've been here before. No, no piss in this one. The hole under this table. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the actual progression. Any piss or pictures in here maybe? No, none of either of those things that I just mentioned. Okay, let's go through this little tunnel right here. I see a Slender the Eight Pages page right here. I also see another creepy drawing. That's Dad holding us. That's Mother holding the elephant in our bedroom. So that right there is a memory of us playing with our father. Maybe it was back in kind of like simpler times, back when father wasn't kind of, I don't know. Convicted of uh, seven degrees of manslaughter. By the way, I just invented a backstory for the father. I pulled it out of my ass. Pulled it out of my ass. You'd be surprised, actually, at just how frequently my ass kind of gets divination right. It's like a it's like a crap tarot cards or something like that. Oh, there's a puzzle piece. Crapping tarot cards would actually be a really, really stupid superpower. <laughs> 
Oh, could you imagine, like, a uh, loved one passes away and you, you start seeking for answers through, like, divination and you you pay three, four hundred bucks to some... One of those fortune teller gypsies off in the tent that they have with the, with the crystal ball and the low lighting. You go there and uh, she says, Hey there, come in. Come in, take a seat. I will just get with you in a minute. Okay. And then she just, like, gets up onto the table, pops a squat and farts out a tarot card. <laughs> ah, the inverted hierophant. You will meet a, a false... <laughs> a false priestess in the very near future. I wonder where that could be. Uh, oh, hold up, there's another card coming up. <laughs> Hey, Yinsen, I have a game request. It's on Steam. It's called Crimson Snow. It's a terrifying Christmas horror game. It's really fun. I might give it a go. Thank you, that one gamer. Usually, uh, when people want to make game requests, they just drop it in my Discord, though, because I have memory issues. And I'm pretty sure I will remember it if it's in the Discord. Let's go ahead and plug this key in there. Oh, we're slotting the shape into the lock. That's actually really funny. Let's go ahead and take this, if we can. Wow, this thing's heavy. We can't really see a lot in front of us. I love how our baby two-year-old understanding of locks is literally, oh yeah, it's, it's the, the key that opens it is the shape that fits the lock. Which on the one hand is actually exactly how locks function. What the hell is going on? I saw that tunnel. I didn't go down it. All right, we've got a puzzle piece. So we're probably just supposed to survive now, right? Okay. Not seeing a lot of stuff. I'm trying to be really, really thorough so we don't miss any Slender the Eight Pages pages. Okay, we can only crawl through that stump. There's nothing through there anyway. We're obviously supposed to go that way. I want to have a good... Oh my god, Oh, we fell over. For like the first time in a billion years. I don't know if we're about to be hunted by something. I don't actually think we are about to be hunted by something. But there are a lot of places to hide. How well polished was this game? Because somebody mentioned in chat earlier that it was a Half-Life mod initially. And now it's kind of like a, uh, a, full, a full game. Okay, now we need a square block to stick in there. I just don't know how well conceptualized the actual... Ah! Oh my god! Well, I suppose that answers that question, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 my God! My poor heart! All right, how far back are we? And are we facing the right way? Yes, we are facing the right way. Okay, let's fix my itchy nose. And we should be good. I think we're supposed to be hiding beneath things, right? Where the hell is she? Oh, we fell over. So what's through here? Is this where she lives? Right over here? I'm looking for her. I don't see her. Okay, let's continue on this way. Oh, that must be why there's... Barrels all over the place to hide in. What if we can hide in the grass? Maybe. Maybe we can hide in the grass. Right, good. We looked in there. Okay, so we're actually pretty close to where we just got ganked. Where the hell is this? I have zero clue. I'm going over the bridge. I think she may still be here. There's a plank right here. Let's get this out of the way. And also this one. We'll get this one out of the way as well. Getty, you got anything to contribute to the uh, current predicament that we are in? No? Alright, I see I see the thing. I also see a Slender the Eight Pages page right here. Yay! Oh, would you look at that? That is something. That is us. And there are bottles everywhere. So maybe our dad was an alcoholic of some sort. Maybe that's what I'm I'm being led to represent right here. Ooh. Okay, let's go here, jump up on here. See what's good. Wait. Can we move this? Yeah, we can. Okay. That's not the barrel we were supposed to jump on. Or is it? 
Okay. Gotta move it over here, I think. Why are these two barrels so much shorter than that one? Barrels don't usually come in assorted sizes like that. Oh, there's something out there, I bet. Oh, our little... Our little baby shadow. I love that so much. Hello? Oh, piss! I'm hiding in the barrels! Uh-oh. I sense she's close. Hello? I don't know if she's actually still out there. No, she is not. Okay, so I feel like she's just haunting us, right? This could represent how I... I, I feel like... Maybe... This monster represents how our mother kind of acts with us after being exposed to uh, potentially an alcoholic father. Okay, we can't go down there. We also can't go up there for some reason. We have to go back along the intended path. Oh, piss on this. I'm out. <laughs> I am so out. Anything down here? Nope. I thought there was a monster in the distance, but it turns out that was not a monster. Okay, we've got a barrel just over here. I sense her coming! I sense a monster. Hello? That better not just be atmosphere. Oh my god! You saw nothing! You saw nothing! She saw nothing. She saw nothing. She saw nothing. She's stupid, if anything else. Stupid monster. Didn't see anything. Oh. Piss on this. Oh my god. I think we gotta go that way. Let's get into this log right here. I think we gotta go that way. Just over that way. Over yonder's bread. Okay, we're crawling. We're crawling. Hello? Monster? I'm going back! There's a barrel right here. Crawling in the dirt! Okay, we're going. We're going for it. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. I think she's close. I actually think she's close. She's gotta be close, right? Is she close? No, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Let's stand up. Let's go ahead. We'll use this key right here. Oh! And now we're out. We're outies. Screw this place. I'm going home. Hopefully she's not going to try and gank us on this bridge. I hate the bubbling. Whoa. What's going on? Okay. Screw this. Screw this. Absolutely screw this. 100% screw this. Oh, she is so close. No! She's not going to grab us. Oh my god! I think I may have just messed up some of my underwear. Okay, we'll go through this window right here. Oh! Okay, we got all of the puzzle pieces, which is just fabulous. Let's go ahead and redeem them. We only got got by her once, which I actually think is pretty impressive. Okay, good. We are up. Let's go ahead. We'll jam that into the socket. And we have unlocked something. Some kind of memory. 
There's our little caterpillar toy right here, and weirdly Moloch, again, very strange. There's our little elephant that we were playing with with our father. I think our mother just disappeared from this painting. Maybe she's kind of like absent or maybe to raise us, she's picked up another job. Oh, screw this. Screw this. Okay, let's go under the bookshelves. Maybe we can just skip the maze part altogether. I do want all of the slender pages though. Right, she's close. She close. She close. I hear her. There she is. I think she saw us. Okay, she's moonwalking away. Okay, I'm moving. Bye bye, lady. <laughs> Best of luck on whatever the hell you're trying to accomplish. Okay, we're kind of stuck here, unfortunately. We are being stalked by this horrid wet lady. But she has forgotten we exist and she's given up. That would be a really depressing sentence to have just said if this is supposed to represent our mother. Okay, I'm going forward. I know a strategy. We're going to be basically duck, dive, dip, dodging and ducking through all of these bookshelves right here. Right, this one right here. What is down there? Hard to say, hard to say, hard to say. There's nowhere to crawl into. There is somewhere that she can kind of like come down, down here. That's not good. It's really bad, actually. We probably have to jump on top of this and climb over something. Let's try it. Hate. What is that sound? Oh no, that's not the option at all. We're supposed to go this way, I think. All right, still nowhere to hide, which again is not the best thing in the world. Can't fall through there. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if she's actually on the side of the map whatsoever. I hear her! There's her soundtrack! Where is she? Oh my god! The thing is, we can't actually lean while we're down here, so we're actually going to fall with our pants down. A little bit. Okay, she's hunting. She's hunting. We need to make a mad dash over there, I bet. I don't know how close she is, but I'm going to try and gap it to this bookshelf over here. Very good, very good, very good. I'm going to continue gapping it. Can we go up here? No, we cannot. We can A indeed. I'm... No, there's nothing over here we can hide behind. Oh no, this is bad. This is a big bad. Ah, good. A hiding spot. Go down here as well. And we should... Oh, that's the exit! Wonderful. Where is she? Probably close. I'm gonna chance it. I'm running! Let's go under here. Hopefully she won't follow us. Oh, piss, I can't. <laughs> yeah, alright. Let's take a good look at our surroundings. What have we got? Nothing really. Oh, come on! Alright, let's try flower gin in the corner. I think she's gonna forget about us and she's gonna leave, right? Alright, she actually did forget about us, which is pretty negligent of, of mother, gotta be said. Uh, I'm going to take this note right here. There's a little gift. Oh, Dad's handing us the gift. And Mother is holding us, so... This may actually be after Father had committed all of those manslaughter charges. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Okay. I'm gonna get up, we're gonna move this uh, bookstall away. Sorry, that is a chair. We're gonna drop this down, we're gonna go through. The next memory. We've done it! Excellent! We outsmarted Mother Yaga. Oh, it's your book. It's a... oh, come to what? On. I'm thirsty, said the rabbit. The rabbit cried and cried. She cried so much that her tears filled the bottom of the well. They can't have done that, surely not. 
Is that all? That was a short book. That's probably more like a, a, a pamphlet or a flyer than a book. Gotta be said. Okay, let's break our ankles. We're doing pretty well, actually, I like to think. We should be back at home base. At the player hub. Yep, oh, this looks like home base. Back. Yes, we are. <sighs> Man, he's got some shifty eyes. I feel like his eyes are supposed to kind of like be the shape of the moon. Okay, let me just uh, really quickly make sure that my stream is going well. It is going well. Excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue upwards and onwards. That? that thing. It was our she mother. She seemed so sad and desperate. It's not very nice. It's not very nice at all. Okay, we're in. Let's go ahead and throw our next memory into the furnace. So nice when we're through with all this and we can play together. All the time. Is the... Is he supposed to be, like, some kind of demonic influence? Because it was a lot of, kind of, religious symbolism in the last place. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this crank right here. Good. And great. Another one down. Yep. It goes in here. This is it. Damn it. <laughs> we are getting very close to her. Why are you looking at me so like that? Worried about you. This teddy's given me the ick. It's given me the ick. Okay, we've got a poop bucket here. That's great. Something to poop in while we're stuck in Nightmare Land. What is this? Is that a yo-yo? Or is it like a cotton spool? Hard to tell. There's also a tennis ball there. Maybe we're like a tennis player. Okay, we'll go down, we'll break our ankles. And we should be absolutely golden. Sorry, I'm just uh, bringing my streaming software back up because I didn't do so. All right. Last memory. Last nightmare. Maybe this is Dad's one. We get to find out why Mother hates Father so much. That lamp is not sitting straight. Are we supposed to get up on top of these? Probably not. No. This is kind of like the last place that we were in, but more derelict. Ooh. Slender page. Great. Accompanied by a couple of slender coats. The hell is this? Why is this barricaded? Why is this place so ramshackle? Hello? I think I heard a shot. What the hell is down there? Those toys. What is that? Oh, there's a drawer fighting to get out. Absolutely fine. We could probably release it. What's down here? That is the pits of the Acheron River, I would assume. Got some chests down here. Throw a pawn down the hole. What else are we looking at? This is a door of some sort. Don't know what is in that box right there. Kind of looks like a filing cabinet. All of this looks like a lot of really old crap of ours. Gotta be said. Right, how do we get up there? I'm not entirely sure how we get up there. Let's just try and go through this first. Maybe we'll end up over there. Maybe we've got to sprint for our lives at the end of this chapter. Because the one we just played, we definitely had to sprint for our lives. Okay, not a hell of a lot. What's going on up here? Nothing. This is just storage boxes. Okay, so I think this is supposed to represent our father. Hello? Yeah, we popped out up here. We popped out exactly where we needed to. Is this going to be like a super long draw that we have to crawl over to get over there? Let's see. Yep. It's exactly what I thought it What the hell? It's like a dead thing on the side of these drawers. I think it was kind of like a sheep running of some sort. Something like that, maybe? Hard to say. Okay, let's go. Good. Kind of launched us forward a little bit. Now we are looking at empty bottles. I think these are dads. Good. Dad can't drink that anymore, thank the lord. What else are we looking at? For the spotlight over there. Spotlight's probably supposed to represent the attention placed on father, right? Maybe? 
I think that might actually be a thing. What was that? Okay, a uh, giant car wheel here. Dad likes cars. That's a probably a, a very male thing for a baby to assume. Okay, one red lamp. Gross. Kind of like a crocheted blanket up here, or even dragon scales. No, it's a rug. It's definitely a rug. Okay. I don't think father is much of a homemaker. To be quite honest. What's in here? Creepiness. Creepiness beyond measure. Just dirty clothes. Kind of looks like our music box. Oh, bad lullaby. Just got an achievement. Yep. Hate that. That is a bad lullaby. Alright, I don't know what Dad did, but he absolutely screwed everything up, it seems. Also some playing cards. Maybe Dad also gambled a little bit. What's in here? Ah, lore. Lore. Excuse me, bag. I just need to get in here. I think. I think I need to get in here. Please? Alright, so... Dad, I think, struck Mommy... Mommy lashed out at Dad. I don't know the reasoning why, but I'm starting to interpret exactly why we have a solo mummy. Oh! My! God! I don't know what that was. Luca, you got Bendy in the ink machine? Don't know what that means. I imagine yoga means play or something like that. I will play it eventually. What's in here? More lore? Hopefully. Can't really see in there though. Hello, game, please. <laughs> Function? Is it because I've got the teddy in my hand? Is that why I can't climb? No, I just can't climb. Okay, so it doesn't. This looks like there's a bunch of boots and stuff in there, I think. Weird. <laughs> Wonder why Dad collects boots. Alright, what's in here? Just a lamp of some sort. I think that's a bike frame up there. Okay, we've got an art easel. We've got a bowler hat and a guitar. A messed up mangled guitar covered in cracks and blotches and such. Uh, okay, just a dead end down there. I thought we may have seen some kind of monstrous creature down there, but maybe we didn't. Okay, we'll come on through here. What is this? More lore? Uh, binders. I think this re represents legal documents. That definitely looks like the legal document kind of binder. Oh, there's more of them here. What's in here? More lore? This is... Preserves? Books? I don't know what the hell those are supposed to represent, to be quite honest. We found a couple of them in the kitchen already. No idea what they're supposed to be like. Okay, let's check this uh, small lore door first. Hey! We've got a little crawl hole with a slender, the eight pages note on the floor. It's kind of strange how we've got all these crawl spaces all over the place. Okay, we could probably also climb up here, but I'm not entirely sure that's a great idea. Can we go through here? Maybe? No, we can't. Alright, let's check out this door. Maybe Dad was just like a rich wanker. It seems like our mum was really trying her best to kind of be a, a decent mother. That's kind of what I've, I'm interpreting from the story so far. Ah! Hello? I just wanted to spin the globe! Why can't I spin the globe? Weird. What's in here? Lore? No, just a taste of some creepy things to come. A couple of moving lamps and such. Duh, I think that's where we came in from. Nothing else that we can kind of... Manage. There is a blank door up there. I don't think we can go through it, though, somehow. Okay, this one seems to have had, like, one of those Thieves Guild scrawlings next to the door. I think this may be where Dad kind of, like, resides. In the broom closet here. Oh, that jacket's moving. It's, uh, not very cash money. We can't go over there. Looks like there's blood all over the floor or something like that. Is that a slender the eight pages page? No. Oh! This is the draftiest coat closet I've ever seen. He's got a lot of coats. Nice Slender the Eight Pages page right there. Slender's going to be getting real fast about, about now. Okay, we can go that way, but there's also a big red thing over here. What is this? Represent something. 
Please! What do you represent? Maybe just a... Uh, that we're really uncomfortable around our father? Oh no, are we stuck? Oh, ploppers. I think we may be... No, I've glitched through. Excellent. Okie dokie! Let's go through the established cannon route. I imagine this is. Can't go through there. There's something blocking the way. What the hell is that? Get our teddy bear off. Do a bit of a lean. Nothing. That shadow actually just scared me. What else are we looking at? I think we're crawling out of a safe. Okay. There's like blood splotches all over these onesies here. Why blue lights? Is this a safe? No, not really. Okay, let's try and fall on these clothings so that we don't break our legs. There's another bendy... No, not bendy. There is a couple of things in here. Gambling, yo-yo, baseball, tennis ball. I think these may be things that we played with with our father. That's locked. We need like a moon-shaped key. Oh, we have to throw something up here. Okay, thanks, tutorial. Great! Something's mad. Oh no. Something's real mad. Maybe we shouldn't have smashed that bottle. Or maybe we should have. Who knows, actually. Right, there's another shape over there. We've got another baseball, which I'm pretty sure we're supposed to throw at another glass thing. Is this a door? Can we open this? No. Wow, you can kind of do some speedrunning glitches with these balls right here. If you just run over them, it kind of launches you into space. Into the fabric of space and time. All right, where's the next one? I don't really see from here. I think we can open this. No, we can A. Weird singing, weird chanting in the background. Maybe our father is some kind of Satanist. Hard to tell. This is getting real creepy, by the way. This game's getting super creepy. Got a boombox. Maybe he listens to Wu-Tang Clan. That is a stool. Do we need this for something? I think we do, actually. Otherwise, it would have just fallen over when we pulled it out of that room. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to go up there. Good grief. Really? Yeah, we got Teddy. Yeah, I think we're supposed to maybe pop out of there somehow. Go here, grab this baseball and see if we can't just, like, knock off the plank. No, we cannot. Man, we've got a good arm for a child, though. We know how to throw a baseball. Okay. So, what else are we looking at? What? What's that sound? It sounded like a detuned piano. Okay. Daddy or Mommy are crying. I think that's Mommy. We're gonna climb up on here, see if we can't get more lore. We are back in that room with the gigantic drawer. Wonderful. Oh, this is the end of the drawer. Okay. So maybe we're supposed to follow that along to the next area. There's a lot of like uh, black stuff on the ground in here. We may want to kind of like try and 100% this room before we go through. Is that still? So what's through here? That is the star we need. I don't know how to get over there just yet. Might not even be possible. Let's try and open this up. I don't think we can climb on this, but we can probably climb on this one here. And then we can climb on that one, then we'll open the last drawer. Climb onto there. At least we get up here. Yep, definitely looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, this is actually the path to exactly where we need to go, which is pretty funny. I don't see anything off in the distance down there. No. I don't even think we really want to try. Okay, we can't get over there. Don't know why we're actually allowed up here. Nothing through there. Let's try and polish off just down here first. I don't see anything down there. Let's just... Oh, wait a minute. What if we throw this? What? If, uh, okay, we're probably going to have to get this up there so we can wedge it into that gap and we can go over. Okay, let's whack that ball up on there. Let's try and climb. Or not. Yep, we got it. Excellent. And now we... Actually, let's go ahead and just climb up onto this one. And then we'll grab this. Hopefully we can lift this all the way up. 
This is just a kind of a guess at what we're supposed to be doing, though. I don't think we're strong enough to actually lift that. All right. Axelino16, what is this? This is Among the Sleep. Why are you so tallant? I I am uh, I am not. I am more not than tall. Where is that coming from? The inch stuff. Because a, a couple of people have been speaking like that recently. I don't know where it's coming from. Is there like a new Game of Thrones out and that's kind of like the dialect that they speak? I don't know. No, this is Among the Sleep. This has been on my list for almost a year to play. I'm finally getting through it now. It slaps. It's basically kind of like baby's first nightmare. And there's a lot of lore. There is a lot of lore. I've kind of... Yes. We've kind of already established that it seems like father was some kind of alcoholic of some sort. And our mother got sick of him drinking, so they had some kind of argument and he may have struck her. Which then started a bunch of legal court cases where uh, father was basically... I don't know how you'd say it. He lost custody of the child. I think he gets to see child every now and then, which is us. But he turned up with a gift for our birthday and mother kind of shouted him away. He got us a teddy bear, which is uh, completely animated as well. But no, I just found it on a meme. It's a good meme. I like it. I might start using it myself. Confuse my friends a little bit. We go down here, maybe? I really see anything in this dark, can I? I don't really see Dick Diddley. And the baby then got a trauma? I don't necessarily think the baby got a trauma, but I definitely think that the baby may have got uh, interpretations. Interpretations of the why its life is going the way it's going. Okay, we, we can't jump in this game at all, so we can't go over there. I don't think we can crawl through here. We can probably try. Let's try. No, we definitely can't fit through there. Doesn't make any sense. We don't climb that. Uh, we got to listen to the cacophony of the dam for a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Maybe we drop down here? I'm going to try it. Okay, we went through that plank, unfortunately. Hi, friend. I posted my first edit. Good for you, silly dino. Uh, we just died as a baby. That's where the baby gets trauma. Where it falls off of the ledge and then hits its head on the way down. Wait, are you taking the piss all the way back here? Seriously? No shot. No shot. No, I think we're just having nightmares. And the, the nightmares at this point are representing kind of uh, the, the, the state of our life, so to speak. Wait, that's not how we get through here. Oh, we, this is good, actually. We want to be able to get up here and then kind of cross over this way. Because we need a star for the lock that we're experiencing. Oh, don't like that we can see that. Luckily, there was no kind of monster over there to be illuminated, though. I hope. I may have spoken too soon. All right, we've got little Teddy to illuminate our way. Let's crawl into this crawl space. Excellent. So we may get some more lore down here. Oh, what's this? I think that's Mother? I think that's Mother kind of like harassing us while we're hiding under the table with some kind of toy. But I could be wrong. Right. Hello? What the hell? Oh my god. I didn't even want to look up. Oh, I see. Right, so this is kind of like our lounge room. So after Mother kicked Dad out of the house, I, I think that she may have been trying to find us, but uh, we were cowering because we didn't understand why they were yelling or fighting. Uh, let's try open this first. What's in here? There is some sand shovels. I'm going in. There's a ball. There is a drop. Okay, I just hit myself in the face with a sock ball. That sucks. Whew. What time is it for you on your side of New Zealand? It is a really good question, actually. It is uh, 10 to 1 p.m. 10 to 1 p.m. Probably at 2 to 3. It's 10 to 1. The ambience is very well made. It fits perfectly as a nightmare. It doesn't make any kind of sense, but at the same time it does, and it's scary. Yep, I am in definite agreement with you. I feel like the lore is, a, is not necessarily too complex either. It's, it's pretty easy to extrapolate. Okay, I see that what's my dingle up on the... What is it? An extraction fan for the oven. There may be something we can throw around here. Don't know why we can't open or close that. 
Hello? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. What's up? Oh, no. I think she's actually talking to father. Let's take this apple and we'll try and hit it from here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my God. What the hell? Well, quest complete. We got the star. Now we can just kind of harass the the cupboards for any goodies that they may be hiding. They may be hiding goodies. Oh, we can finally get into the oven. Excellent. Or we could not. That's also something we could do. Excellent. What's in the fridge? Nothing. Classic. Put this apple in the fridge. Ooh. It's 12.50 for, uh, for me in Auckland. Yeah, we're in the same time zone. It'll be the same time, my dude. <laughs> New Zealand is vertically very similar. So we'll have exactly the same time zone. However... Horizontally, we'll be completely different. We'll have way different atmospheres. Right, got a block in here. Oh, the room has turned sideways now. That's cool. So, we're probably going to be harassed by mother if we crawl under here, just based on the law that I have been seeing so far. Damn! We are really hucking these paint buckets. Oh, that's not good. Do we? Are we supposed to go up here, maybe? Yeah, we are actually supposed to go up. Oh, we can't, like, do anything. So what is up there? A kind of a path. I don't think we can go that way, though. We might have to find another way around. And since this place is now completely different, we're able to do so. Probably not going to be through the... Oh, probably will actually be through here. Because there were the... What the hell? This is all new. What is this? Oh, no, we are backtracking a little bit. Which is probably actually fine, because the lock that we need to go and access is over there. Is there maybe something behind these boxes? <sighs> the dreams and nightmares are hallucination the brain has during sleep while it's processing, assimilating, and storing all the things that happened that day. Ah, I see you're also a man of culture. That was a theory put forward by Carl Jung, Freud's biggest competitor in psychology. That baby is a really bad familiar ambience. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That may, um, that, that may be your own trauma kind of poking through. Yeah, Carl Jung used to say that uh, dreams were the body's way of processing very, very short-term temporary traumas. And in a sense, I would uh, completely agree. But I would also kind of say that it's basically AI art. Because I don't know how vividly people dream, but if you can remember your dream, it's definitely always kind of like in 144p or in really, really heinous fragments. Oh, finally, a real photo. That's our father. We can't see him past Teddy. He seems like a bit of an oaf. Okay, so this is father um, crippling mother or cheating on mother and then trying to console her because he's crying these tears of blood. I hope it's blood and not just drool. I hope he's not just like overwhelmingly stupid. <laughs> That's why she left him. <laughs> Honey, have you seen the keys? What are keys? All right, there's mother yelling at dad. Pro yeah, I, no, I'm starting to think that maybe he cheated on her, but he also had a big drinking problem, so that might shine through too. Hard to tell. Hard to tell indeed. What the hell is this? Oh, maybe he did murder somebody. Oh no, this is him leaving. That's the front door of our house. And this is mother hunched over with her absolutely revolting posture. And father has that weird neck deformity, of course, and um, uh, that horn as well that he was born with. Creepy. You dream all night, every night, but you can remember about 4% of your dreams. I tend not to dream all night, every night. I only really dream in uh, REM, which is maybe like half an hour of all of my sleep. I do that twice a night. I know a lot about dream theory, by the way. Uh, I have crippling insomnia, so I've kind of got to know everything there is to be know about sleep. This is, I think we just backtracked a little bit. Whoops. So we want to go forward and then into that really sus hole, don't we? This one, just over here. That's the one. Kind of looks like a closet. Uh-oh. That seems like a future problem. Actually, is father in here? Seems like father's in here. I mean, what we could be experiencing here may actually be trauma. I don't know if we go back, but there's also somewhere to go through. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Oh no! Gotta go through it. Ooh. 
I wanted to say that I'm still in New Zealand, but I'm in New Zealand for a few weeks. Where are you from? Are you from somewhere else? I'm from New Zealand. I live here. Southern New Zealand. I went to the North Island for like the first time in almost two decades, very recently, and I, I couldn't help but notice that the the people who live up north are very, very soft compared to us southerners. Our southerners down here have really harsh winters and we tend to be quite gruff people. And we're also the kind of people where if the car breaks, we just kind of like smack it with a hammer a few times before we even, before the thought of calling a mechanic even crosses our mind. It's a hard, it's a hard life down here in Southland. But up north, it's a, a kind of, every kind of, every, everybody kind of moves like a, like a pack animal in a pen. It's very strange for me to experience. I'm from Aruba. Wow, I have never heard of that. Is that uh, Middle Eastern, African? Sounds kind of cool. When you dream, have you ever experienced like some kind of interference? Like the sound's getting lower and vision blurring? No, never. Um, I'm an incredibly vivid dreamer, so my dreams usually just kind of carry on until I leave REM. Rapid eye movement. That's what that means. Let's try not to knock over these bottles, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's going to lead to our death, maybe? Possibly. Dad might be hungover. Okay, let's be as quiet as we possibly can. Oops! Oh, no! It's an island? Okay, that's cool. I live on an island as well. <laughs> that's why the brain stores that memory. It's such crap memory though, isn't it? You wake up and you remember the general gist of what happened, but if you can actually remember the images that you dreamed, it's all kind of like really early AI art. It just all looks like ass. It's all blurry images and faces and... I feel like the only, like, takeaway from dreams is the feeling itself. Last night I dreamed that I was captaining a ship, a spaceship, and we were going to another planet to try and exterminate everyone on there so that we could move uh, humanity to there. And you know what happened? We crashed into another ship. <laughs> that was weird. I remember that. I couldn't tell you what the ship looked like, but I can tell you exactly that is what I dreamed. Can we go in here? Maybe? Oh, we can. This is... Are we just backtracking? That looks real familiar. Okay, we've got another little... Lore drop, I think, in this room here, too. What was that? Halo lore? What, like the... the, the what was the hey, What was the spaceship thing? It was uh, just a dream. Usually, dreams indicate some kind of inadequacy in life, so I would probably say that I feel like I've inherited a little bit more responsibility recently and I'm slightly intimidated by that. That's probably what I would inter extrapolate from that dream that I had. Is this the naughty room? But like I said, I'm, I'm, I put a lot of stock into dream theory. This feels like the naughty room. Oh, I missed that chair getting knocked over. This is disturbing. Whew. You should play Exit 8. I actually have it in my Steam cart right now. I am going to play it next week. Put it in the Discord. I don't have Discord. You can get Discord for free. It's free. And if you don't have, uh, like an email to sign up with, you can always get an email as well. They're free. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. But here's the thing. I am actually going to play that next week. It's, it's on my very, very immediate list. Oh, no. Teddy? Teddy, save me. I've got a tennis ball. It did nothing but reveal our presence. Okay, Dad's gone. Probably for the best. I don't know what he did, but if Mother was uh, upset enough to scream at him for it, then probably best he's not around anymore. I don't want to knock over any of those bottles. I'm actually very scared of it. This isn't like red light, green light, is it? Where we got to kind of like hide and then we wait for, for Dad to come back. Yep, bunch of bottles over here. Oh, poos. Okay, looks like I'm hiding in here. What is in here? There's another torn picture of father drooling like the simple idiot that he is. My phone broke and I don't have it, so I can't use my number. You don't need a phone number to sign up to Discord. You can use an email. I'm almost certain of that. Although at the same time, I don't really use email <laughs> myself. What's in here? Lore? Uh, just more books and those weird thingy majingies. Probably the same thing in here as well. Maybe. You do need a phone number? They made it? Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. What the hell? 
Am I not supposed to be able to see through this? No, I am not. <laughs> this is the inside of the map. <gasps> I can't believe it. Really? And I can go in here. Oh, would you look at that? There's the elephant. Oh, no, we are supposed to be in here. That's supposed to be, I think that's mother putting the elephant up. Maybe the elephant is supposed to represent the elephant in the room of, um, of father being a degenerate or something like that. Maybe, very, very maybe. Okay, let's try not to knock over any bottles. Don't knock over any bottles, Teddy. Or I swear to God, you're going straight in the trash. Now let's go ahead and open this. I think I just knocked a bottle over. Ah, good closet. Some soap in here, that's stupid. That's a terrible place for soap. Oh no, what's going on? Hello? Father? What have you done? Maybe he is just overwhelmingly stupid and that's why mum left him. Oh, is this, what is this? What is this? Is this supposed to be both of our parents maybe? Let's get a real good look at this. Get on our hands and knees, I think. It's... Prince... It's, 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 um... Oh, what's her name? It's Caldwin. And Corvo Atano. God, I can't... Empress Caldwin. No. Empress... That's the Empress. What the hell's going on over there? Nothing. That's where we came from. Okay, apparently we're being hunted by some kind of monstrous entity, and it's over. That was quick. There's another bottle over here. Let's just smash it for fun, I think. Good. Wonderful. No, thank you. Dover's witnesses are getting really aggressive these days, huh? Congratulations, you broke the game. The worst about nightmares is that they usually related to very deep psychological horror that's specifically related to you, because you are... Because you are your memories, and it's something that is related to you and affects you. Yep, I'm also definitely in that boat there. Is that crying dad, or is it crying mum? With her phone next to her. Hard to tell. I hope she's not one of those phone babies. Father? What's going on? Vader? Papa? I don't know what to call him now. Okay, I'm gonna crawl all the way to the end of this plank. We're literally walking the plank, and now we're dropping off the ledge. We probably could have just died then, honestly. Probably could have just died by falling off of the ledge there. Okay, now we can crawl into whatever this bullseye is. What the hell? Elephants are my favorite animal. They have big ears and long She got a booty. And it's not weird for me to say so because I'm, I'm not actually this baby. This baby doesn't know what it's looking at. I, the player, am appreciating the booty. Not the baby, it's not It's not incestuous. What are you looking at? The booty! <laughs> it's the booty, my dude. I'm looking at mother's booty. Well, not my mother's booty. <laughs> I'm looking at another baby's mama's booty. And since she's just pixels, she can't complain. Such is life. I'm taking the elephant. We got the final memory. Let's hurry. Okay. Let's drop down here. I imagine this is the way out. I'm gapping it. Oh, poos. Big poos. Okay, that's us in a crib, and this is mother. Is she still here? I feel like she might actually still be here. Maybe we feel like a prisoner under the, the rule of our mother. Nope, that's obviously a trap. What's in here? <laughs> Big nope on that one. Lore? Ah, Slender the Eight Pages page right here. Nice. Very good. We? What does that mean? Oh, sorry, did I say we are looking at mother's booty? Well, I suppose if I'm the one playing the game, you don't really have a choice, do you? This is so obviously a trap. It is a trap! Oh! I'm running! I'm running! No! Let the beer go! 
Fly, you fool! Okay, that was father. That was not mother. Is there someone besides the baby? The, okay, so we've got three players in this game. We have baby, we have mother, and we have father. And since we're a baby, we don't really know if there's any other players. So, dad could have cheated on mother, or dad could just literally be an alcoholic, and uh, she just got fed up with it. I took the leg. The hell? Hello? Poor Teddy. I'm, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Just a couple of stitches and he'll be right as rain. I'm in the spotlight. This may be representing the court hearing. Or maybe like we are the topic of the conversation. Hell no, I'm not going that way. Are we, hun? Or is she talking about the, the daddy? Baby daddy. Who was speaking? That is mother. I said not now. Oh, mother drinks. Oh, that was a twist of fortune. Well, not fortune, but a twist of fate. Ah, mother drinks. So, wh why did dad? Th did I have it all backwards? Did I let gender bias get the better of me? Did I assume that father was drinking? Because he was the one who was kicked out. Did he voluntarily leave? Because I assume so, because mother is trying to keep us away from father, or keep father away from us. Okay, that's mother. But what if he's the best one to to raise me? Do what mommy says. I'm going to be very angry. None of us want that. I wonder if the game is going to get us to kind of like pick between mother and father at the end. That would be a really, really cool resolution. Like, you pick father and then you just wake up in the crib and your mother's just hovering over you. That would be eerie. That would be such eerie horror. For you to realise just how bad um, um, uh, her, she is for us. And then realising, oh, we're a child, so we're stuck here anyway. Alright, Liam Neeson. Call Toriel for help. I already killed Toriel. I don't think it's going to help. Somehow. What's in here? That's a rock. Oh, illumination! Nice. Oh, this is our player hub right here. Is this supposed to represent a broken home? Ah, yup, 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 yup. Uh huh, uh huh. Wait a minute. Okay, so. Wait a minute. Mother gave us the elephant, father gave us the teddy bear. This is a choice. Right. Right, let's try and put Teddy in there. See what happens. No, okay, so it's scripted that we have to stick Mother's thing in there. Because it's a memory. Got it, and we just got Teddy. Alright, let's stuff let's stuff the elephant in there. Close that. Is this a slender page? No. I don't think all the pages we collected are actually being scattered around the room. What a missed opportunity. That would have been so cool. Okay, let's turn this crank right here. This is the opposite direction. To the one that we were using last time. A little bit sus. Oh my god, these controls are actually not amazing. And this one, finally! Okay. So now we need Teddy to do both of these buttons. Hello, Teddy? Now... When Teddy got all ripped up, it looked like the father was holding it. Teddy? No, no Teddy. Weird. We haven't fallen over in some time, by the way. 
So I think we finally learned how to walk, which is pretty funny. All right, there's an R block, a hard R. Hit a, not, oh, the blocks are put away as well. If X5, if 5X, maybe. Oh, Teddy restitched, yeah, definitely. Okay, so we probably actually need like a a block or something to put on the button. No, that didn't do anything. Okay, this puzzle actually took us ages to figure out the first time as well. This kind of player hub is not very kind of intuitive, is it? Maybe Teddy's in the oven? No, Teddy's not in the oven. Is Teddy in the cupboard? No, Teddy is not in the cupboard. Right. There's got to be something up front here. The hell was that? I just saw something at the side of the screen. I have no idea what it was. Just got a flash real quick. All right. We're stumbling around in the dark now. I love like all looks like it's made of cardboard. It could actually be made of cardboard. I, I'm not entirely sure that these places actually exist. We're basically just using kind of like the imagination of a, uh, of, of a child here. So we could actually still be in Playland. Do we crawl under the bed? No, but we can clip into the bed. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. Don't know how we imagined whatever this thing is, honestly. Okay, we aren't supposed to interact with that anymore. What if we just like make a huge mess? Would this maybe help, perhaps? If we just made a really big mess? Who are these supposed to be? I think this is supposed to be us and Teddy. Okay, Teddy, and uh, it goes to us, and that's probably a basketball hoop. Maybe that's a, a hint of what we're supposed to be doing. I don't really see any basketball hoops around the place. That lamp is knocked over, that is a fire hazard. There's a basketball hoop outside. In Playland, find Ralsei then. I don't think Ralsei's gonna be able to help us here, unfortunately. I, th I think Ralsei may not exist. <laughs> oh, I took a look at Gaster, by the way. I, I read uh, the entire wiki for Gaster on the uh, Undertale wiki. And you know what? He's a head cannon. He doesn't actually exist. The only thing that's been confirmed about him is that he existed once before Elfies in Undertale. Other than that, it's speculated that he fell into the core, and then after that, there is no record of him anywhere. Like, literally anywhere, outside or inside of the games. Everything that people keep quoting at me is just YouTubers' game theories. Which is really funny. There are only three confirmed things. There is one confirmed thing. It is uh, someone saying that he is... That he kind of fell in the, the core. I know there's a couple of companions that kind of reference him as well. But they just confirm the same thing. He made the core and it was the first royal scientist. Yeah, Elpheus replaced him. Other than that, he didn't influence any of the story. <laughs> so I don't know why people are saying this mad scientist Gaster is in the background. The kind of like image that people are using is Gaster as well, the creepy smile guy. It, it might not even be him. That's not even confirmed either. Okay, this one doesn't even go green when we press it. This one does go green. Maybe we're supposed to weigh up this one instead. Maybe this will do the trick. No, it does nothing. Nothing. It does nothing. It does not. The lamp over here. I can't believe this player hub is the wall. Is the wall of the game. Okay, what about this? What if I use this on the... <laughs> oh my days, that is so convoluted. Is theme darker yet darker? It's literally called Gaster's theme in the game files. Yep, and it's not canon. It's not actually supposed to be played in the game. So, it seems like we've found the resolution, right? That was it. I hope. All right, we've got our elephant back. There's our book. There's a music box and there's the locket. Just gonna throw that locket, damage it a little bit. Was that it? We didn't fall asleep in the closet, surely. That's that would be silly. Uh 
Okay, I think that's just kind of like an LED light. Narnia. Yeah, I definitely agree. There's that puzzle piece that we were doing. Okay, so it was actually just a nightmare influenced by surroundings and circumstance. That's cool, actually. This is a nice little kind of tied off polished stuff. Oh, that's mother's piss. Oh, she's drinking already. Is that where she is? Okay, so this game kind of opened with, we don't know where our mother is. We got up and she wasn't in bed. So uh, we we're kind of looking around and then we fell into this weird land of, of creepiness. There's the triangle key that we throw into the triangle lock. Mama, 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 <laughs> mama. Oh, can we actually finish this puzzle? No? Seriously? Okay, the rotate on this is also very revolting. Okay, this should be able to slot in there, right? Okay, it seems as though we're about as smart as our father, drool dribbling from our mouth. We take after dad. Mum? Mama? The house is a pigsty! Oops, I fell over! Hey, uh, can I have my teddy bear? Please? Okay, so she's the one who screwed up. That is not what I predicted initially. I thought Dad did something wrong. Yoink! Stay away from me! I'm sorry. I never meant to. Good doggy. There, there, doggy. It's okay. Just have another drinky winky. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah, let me pour you a let me pour you a tall one. There you go. Drink that. Do you want some more wine? There's more up here. Okay. There's got to be someone at the front door, right? There's got to be like a lawyer coming over to. Yeah. Hello, it is I, baby. I am the man of the house. <laughs> Wait, is the resolution just that we leave? Hi there, little one. Come here. Maybe she was not ready to have a baby. You might actually be spot on. Did you like your gift? What happened to his arm? Don't worry. We'll fix him up. We completed it. I don't know why, but I feel like that actually hit me a little bit hard. In memory area of Jory Prum. Okay. Rip Jory Prum. Or remember Jory Prum. I don't know if they're dead or even if they existed. I'm thinking postnatal depression, the game. What do we think? You might actually, Excellent, you might actually be completely spot on with that. But at the same time, she could have always been like a long term alcoholic, possibly. I don't know, I just got here. I think you saw everything important that you needed to know. We were kind of going through the game and it was pretty clear that the game that we were experiencing, when the monsters were chasing us, they were representative of one of our parents. And uh, it was very clear, eventually, that when we kind of thought of our parents, we definitely thought fear. That's what we experienced. And that was confirmed right at the end when Mother gave us a, a nice little love tap to the face, as uh, Southern New Zealanders call it. She gave us a nice love tap, and um, we felt the fear. The same fear that we experienced every time one of the monsters started hunting us down. Crazy. The mother is aggressive to the baby? Yeah, I think it's... I, I blame the booze. She's probably not like that sober. Either that or she collects bottles. <laughs> and she's actually just an absolute degenerate while sober. Okay! That was actually really cool. I love that game so much. I can't believe it's over. Oh well, 
all good things end. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for one done spookers that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Just down here, beside my genitals, is the description of this video, where you are going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until, until I make the next video, or you catch the next stream, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!